everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a first impression video. I kind of look a little bit crazy right now. I have my eye makeup done, but I don't have any face makeup on. Because today I wanted to try out the Stila Correct and Perfect All-in-One Correcting Palette. So I wanted to give this bad boy a go. This palette is great for correcting dark circles, helps with redness, helps with sallowness, and it contains five sheer to, sheer to medium buildable color correcting creams and two translucent finishing powders. Sorry, I'm sick right now. I thought this was a good time to use it because my skin is a little blotchy because I'm, I'm going, I'm beating the flu or the cold. I have a cold, not the flu. It's also supposed to help diminish the appearance of pores and fine lines. It's supposed to help moisturize and control oil. So, sounds like a big promise to me. So I'm gonna give this a go. So the package is super, super pretty. That's what it looks like. And then when you open it up, I really like the fact that it has a big mirror. So that is really handy. And I also like how the creams, these are all creams. I like how there's a case, there's a little case that separates the creams from the powders, which I like because I find when palettes have creams and both powders and there's nothing to separate the two, I find it can get a little bit um, messy in the palette. Okay, so they also give you a little book in the palette and it just tells you what to do. Let's go in, it gives you a diagram showing you what colors are for where, what they do, how you should use them. I'm going to follow this diagram. First, I'm gonna go in. They're saying number five is the orange cream, helps neutralize blue and purple, under eye circles, and darker skins and veins. So they're saying just to use number five directly right underneath your eye. Let's do that. Then they're saying to use number one, which is the peachy cream, and they're telling me to use it underneath this color, this bright orange. So they're telling me to go underneath, um, right in here, which is true, I do get a lot of darkness in here. So they're telling me to go right in here. They're also telling you to go underneath your eyebrow, but I've already done my eye makeup, so I'm gonna skip that step. Okay, so then number three. Number three is a yellow cream. It helps neutralize purple and brown and dark spots. So it's saying to use number three on the sides of my forehead over here. How many worlds? So number four, it's the green. So it's gonna neutralize red. So you're gonna wanna use it. It tells me to use it around here. I'm going to use it. I do have redness around there, so I'm going to use it around there. But I'm also going to use it, I have a few breakouts right now, so I'm going to use it on my breakouts. And I'll get really red right here. So now I'm going to blend all this out. So I'm going to start with my beauty blender and I'm going to start with the pointy side here. And I'm just going to do the orange. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the green. And then I'm gonna go to the top of my forehead and work this light peach yellow color in. Okay, so before I step with these finishing powders that they give you in the kit, I'm gonna finish my whole makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with the foundation and concealer, and I will be back. I'll probably just fast forward it so you don't have to be bored out of your mind. We wanted to run, we wanted to fall together. Back then, our world seemed so clear. We were so bright. Shimmering lights around us We take flight into the sky How many worlds would you cross To use the light that's right in front of you There is no light on the other side I say look straight ahead 
we'll see. Okay, so now that my foundation is on, I'm going to set with the powders they tell me to set with. So for the lavender powder, I'm going to go down my T-zone, like just all the way down, straight down. So I'm just gonna go in the middle of my forehead. Straight ahead and you will see. And then they say to use number six, which is the yellow powder, around your mouth. It's kind of shitty how they don't have like an under eye setting powder because I feel like that's important, especially when you're color correcting underneath your eye a lot. I wish they put a like a translucent or a brightening. I know we can use lavender underneath because lavender neutralizes yellow, but I don't want to set my under eye with lavender. So I'm just going to go set it with another powder, finish the rest of my makeup, and then come back and tell you what I think. So overall, I give this palette an A. I think it's really, really good. Uh, I just wish that they added a translucent powder to set your under eye. But the creams, they blended out super nice. They're highly pigmented. And the powders they do include, they blended out nice as well. I just wish they added a translucent. And I do like how they have the divider between creams and powders because that way your palette will not get messy because sometimes the powders mix in with the creams and they get really, really gross. So that was smart thinking on their behalf. The mirror in this palette is amazing, especially if you're traveling. It is a full-size mirror. It is beautiful. You can see everything. See? And other than that, I really do like this palette. I do think it's worth the money. And because if you just buy one correcting shade, it's, it's going to cost you quite a bit of money. So I do suggest this palette. It is really nice. Thumbs up. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.